The Pakistani Army became the third operator of the Narinko VT-4 battle tank in late 2020 or early 2021, after it was widely reported that an order had been placed earlier that year for an unknown number of the vehicles. This reportedly came after a performance demonstration which had impressed Pakistani military officials, with the tank having been developed by China's Narinko specifically for export and previously sold to Thailand and Nigeria to modernize their own armored units. While Pakistan's armored units are made up almost entirely of Chinese designs, the most capable of which were previously the Al Khalid and Al Zarar, the VT-4 took the place of the most capable tank by far in the country's inventory. The tank's GL-5 active protection system is particularly highly regarded, and can detect incoming projectiles and fire pairs of rockets at them with the double detonation sufficient to neutralize most threats. The VT FAS 1300 horsepower diesel engine is also considered very powerful for a vehicle of its size, with the tank benefiting from torsion bar suspension, an integrated hydraulic transmission system and automatic gear transmission for steering and acceleration. The VT FAS 125mm main gun has access to a range of advanced specialized munitions to engage particular types of targets, and its sophistication allows it to compete at a peer level to much heavier tanks. Chinese penetrative anti-armor rounds are thought to be among the most capable in the world, and are expected to pose a major threat even against well-defended enemy armor such as the Indian T-90S, and possibly even the upcoming T-90MS, which Pakistan is likely to face in the event of a major conflict. Although not as capable as the heavier Type 99A relied on by China's own armed forces, the VT-4 uses many of the same technologies and may well be more cost-effective. The export-oriented tank is has lower maintenance requirements meaning even countries with more limited budgets can field several large units. It remains uncertain how many of the tanks Pakistan intends to purchase, but considering prior trends in acquisitions by the country an order for over 300 tanks, and potentially many more, is far from unlikely. China's third and fourth tank designs, the VT-4 and Type 15, and closely related designs developed in parallel, with the former being a sophisticated low-maintenance medium-weight tank built exclusively for export, and the latter being a lightweight design built for mountain and amphibious warfare. The VT-4 has seen exports to Thailand, Nigeria and Pakistan and reportedly made a strong impression for its advanced performance, with the tank benefiting from many shared subsystems and technologies from the Type 99. The tank is relatively cheap to manufacture, but can reportedly penetrate 700 mm of armor which only a small fraction of operational tanks in the world can do. Dual layer protection including composite and explosive reactive armor provide a high degree of survivability to complement the tank's firepower. The complementary Type 15 is approximately 40% lighter than the Type 99 and is the only modern Chinese tank not to use a 125mm cannon with the smaller vehicle accommodating only a 105mm cannon. The tank relies on specialized munition types such as laser-guided anti-tank missiles and kinetic energy penetrators to threaten modern armor and compensate for the size of its armament. The Type 15 is prized for its ability to operate effectively in mountainous regions in western China, which provides a particularly important advantage over neighboring India which lacks any similar mountain-friendly tanks. It notably has a very advanced hydro-pneumatic suspension system which dynamically adjusts ground clearance to maximize maneuverability and combat efficacy in rough terrain. Thanks for watching.